So the long list of the International Booker Prize will be announced on March 14, 2023. But what is the Booker Prize? Let me try to explain. So the International Booker Prize is awarded every year by a panel of judges to the best novel or short story collection that is translated to English and is published in the UK and Ireland. The prize money is divided equally between the author and the translator. Each year, 12 to 13 books make it to the long list, which then gets filtered into six in the short list. But only one book of these six wins the grand prize of £50,000. However, all the shortlisted books win a prize money of £2,500. So the goal of the prize is to encourage readers to read and discover more quality fiction from around the world that could be otherwise obscure to them. It is a very important marketing tool to all the nominated books, whether long-listed or short-listed. The sales of these books experience a significant increase because of this prize each year. Even though the prize is for books that are translated to English, the sudden exposure of the books encourage publishers around the world to translate those books into their own languages, which results in even more sales. The original Booker Prize, which was named the Man Booker Prize up until 2019, is awarded to a fiction book that was written in English as its first language, while the International Booker Prize is concerned with translated fiction only. So it celebrates the role of the translator who is mostly ignored, even though we wouldn't be able to read these amazing novels without the translator. Their name is not even mentioned on the cover in most cases. The International Booker Prize started in 2005. At first, it was awarded every two years to an author for his complete body of work, kind of like the Nobel Prize. But in 2015, the rules have changed to make the prize for one book only. So from 2005 to 2015, five authors won the prize for their works. But from 2016 up until now, seven books have won the prize and they are The Vegetarian by Han Kang, A Horse Walks Into a Bar by David Grossman, Flights by Olga Tukarchuk, Celestial Bodies by Johal Harthi, The Discomfort of Evening by Marika Lucas Rainival, At Night All Blood is Black by David Deop, and last year's winner Tomb of Sand by Gitanjali Shri. So of all the nominees throughout the years, I have read only three novels. Of course, I intend to read them all, if I could. First book I read is Flights by Olga Tukarchuk. This book won the prize in 2018. This book was one of the weirdest books that I have ever read. It's a collection of short stories that are connected by the act of traveling and a lot of anatomy and dissecting humans. The stories take place in different time periods from the 17th century onwards and in different places. Some stories are longer than others and they are separated into parts. And between those parts there are different short stories. All I can say about this book is that it was a very different reading experience and I enjoyed it. Second book I read is Celestial Bodies by Joha Harthi. This book won the prize in 2019. It's a historical fiction which tells the story of Oman through the tale of three sisters and their interactions with society. I found it to be a bit of a hard read because time kept changing forward and backwards and there were so many characters, each one with a story and a different backstory. But overall, I really enjoyed reading the book and I found it to be really beautifully written. Last book I read is Heaven by Japanese author Miko Kawakami, which was shortlisted for the 2022 prize. It's a story about bullying from the point of view of a 14-year-old boy. I talked about it more in my last video. Please check it out. And please support the channel by hitting the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching this far and happy reading.